So in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to properly attach and detach an M4ST2 sound suppressor to either any of the four muzzle devices which we make which are proprietary for the suppressor or a standard A2 birdcage flash hider. Inclusive with all of our M4ST2 sound suppressors and our mounts are these two washers here. The first one is a peel washer. Uh, the purpose of it is to bring the muzzle device into perpendicularity with the barrel so that it will greatly reduce the probability of baffle strikes and it also helps to uh, decrease point of impact shift. We uh, highly recommend that suppressor users use either a peel washer like the one that we include with our devices or a shim set. The use of a crushed washer should be uh, forbidden with sound suppressor use. However, end users that intend on running our muzzle devices without the intent of using a sound suppressor can use a crushed washer. That is sufficient. So after your shim set or uh, peel washer is installed, you'll install this tabbed washer. What that does is it provides uh, the suppressor not to blow by the indexing groove that's needed for our locking gate. So after the muzzle device is installed, you will just grab the uh, locking gate here with both fingers, the pointer finger and the index finger, and just deflect the, sprint, the locking spring here with your thumb. Now that the locking gate is open, it's ready to be installed in a host weapon. So you're just going to screw and push this down until you hit our over travel top, uh, stop tab watch that I spoke about earlier. Then what you're going to do is you're going to rotate the suppressor into alignment into parallel with a wrench flat and close the locking gate. Now you will be able to physically see and hear the locking spring click over the geometry on the, on the latch on the locking gate like this. Now when the spring is completely flat with the back of the device you know that it's locked. There will be a little bit of rotational play. This helps the user uh, break carbon free after they're done shooting and using the suppressor. However, if the spring is deflected at all, uh, you will be able to rotate the suppressor more than 180 degrees in either direction, uh, possibly. Um, so you should ensure that the suppressor uh, is installed properly by, being, by rotating it firmly and uh, the latch should not pop up. You can also grab the latch and pull up and it should not pull up. So after you're done shooting the suppressor and you've allowed it to cool, you can rotate it slightly to break carbon free and while pulling up the locking gate, simultaneously deflect the locking spring. Then just pull the suppressor off the gun. So all of our muzzle devices are made of 17.4 precipitation hardened stainless steel. With uh, on a 14 and a half inch barrel like this one, the M4 SD2 uh, sound suppressor reduces uh, decibels by 34 decibels on a 14.5. On a 10.3 inch Mark 18, like this guy, we recorded 139 decibels, which is one decibel below the uh, OSHA limit of 140 decibels for impulse noises. Uh, the two port brake is my personal favorite. Uh, this, it especially helps smooth out recoil impulse on uh, piston guns like this 12 and a half inch uh, or 12 inch LMT. Uh, if you're installing the suppressor to a uh, A2 birdcage, it's uh, the same way, the installation. If uh, you're installing the suppressor on one of our devices uh, and your device is new, there are these two bands here that are located on all of our muzzle devices are OD precision ground to one one thousandth of an inch accuracy. Uh, with new black oxide on these muzzle devices, uh, it's going to require a little of elbow, elbow grease to install and remove the suppressor the first few times. Uh, but after that oxide has been worn off those bands, you'll get a nice precision fit, which will help uh, reduce point of impact shift. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys get a chance to uh, Check out our sound suppressors. If your class three or class two doesn't isn't set up with us, we appreciate it if you could uh, let them know that you'd like to see us. Thanks a lot.